Now that we've locked this cylinder at top dead center with the uh, top dead center locking tool on the other side, I need to remove the solenoid so that I have access to the cam flats on this side. Same three bolts that hold this in and the same wiring connector is on the other side. Push in on the tab, push it up, squeeze down, squeeze it together, and then work it off of the solenoid. It has the same pin on this side that goes on the catch part. Now we're going to remove the cam chain tensioner. Got some oil that comes out. Once again, a replaceable O-ring. Set it aside. Use the same cam chain tensioner tool as on the other side. I index it so that it's all even with the 42 millimeter sleeve that's on there. Remove the sleeve. Thread into the bottom of the cylinder. This side has a different cam alignment jig from the other side. It's got a different part number on it. It's a mirror image of the other one. It goes against the face of the machine surface of the cylinder head. You line it up here. It doesn't hook onto either one of the intake or the exhaust cam. Now we need to tighten this up. We're going to crank 12 turns on the uh, cam chain tensioner tool. Set up this visual for you again so that you can see how we do this. Gonna line up, put the gap in the tape right here about in the, the front and we're going to go in 12 turns. Now we'll use the, the alignment jig. Still doesn't fit. We know that these are not in time as well. No. On the other side, it doesn't make any difference, but because this is such a tight fit between the bolt head and the chain, this is ground down to 7.75 millimeters thick so that it can fit between the bolt and the cam chain. This is a link chain as opposed to a roller chain on the, wet head, the other wet heads. And it fits okay on both of the exhaust for the right-hand cylinder intake this has to be ground down to fit. I'll loosen these bolts on the camshaft because we have to rotate the cams. That cam is free to turn. This camshaft is free to turn. And we'll get the alignment jig up here, put it on the face of the cylinder, and as we slide it in, it slides right on the exhaust, just happened to be in the right spot, and this one slides on to the intake as well. When it has slid into both of them and they're in alignment, now we'll just put this little six millimeter screw in here, this bolt. Now we just snug this up so that it holds the, the jig in place while we're going to torque the bolts on the end of this. Put on the offset adapter arm.
Okay, that's all torqued. Now I can remove this little screw that's holding the alignment jig in. And the cams are now in time. <laughs>